Hey, hey guys, how's it going? X Biscuit HD. Um, yeah, so Hangar 18, man, this is a banging map. I love this map. It's off the, uh, you know, the DLC, the, the most recent one. Oh, God, I love it. I just, oh, there's just so many places to turn around. So many corners, lots of, you know, you can climb up high, you can climb down low. There's lots of, yeah, there's a, that big ass black bird in the middle to climb on. I just, I love this map, and I do, I've always done well on it. I remember, like, my first game, I went, like, 80 and, like, 3 or something, something crazy like that. Um, yeah, so I always love this map, especially on search. Mm. I love it for rushing on search. I always get at least 10 kills to, like, literally 2 deaths. It's crazy. Um, I especially like it with the submachine guns. And so that's why this, this, uh, commentary is kind of more more chilled, a bit more relaxed than my other ones. My other ones, you know, I tend to rush around ground war, crazy assault rifles, small maps, you know, crazy action-packed gameplay like that. But I just thought I would, lo I would lower down, you know, the levels, lower down the craziness. Of course, this is a sick gameplay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not like giving you some crap gameplay. It's a 30 kills. It's a three deaths, free for all. You're thinking hmm, that's a 10 kill death ratio on a new map pack that's pretty good but what makes it better is that i'm using the mac 11 submachine gun that's like mm, you know it's not it's not the best gun ever it's looked down upon it's probably one of the worst with the suppressor so that like reduces the range even more and and because i don't have extended mags it only has like 20 bullets so that's crazy and i'm using lightweight and sleight of hand and marathon because usually if i was going to use the mac 11 i would you know slap on it first i'll put on extended mags because you need well, you, well as i demonstrate here you don't need extended mags but it's a vital part of it because you only get 20 bullets now 20 bullets with the mac 11 that's barely enough to kill one dude so you know i would have extended mags i would have scavenger scavenger pro because you know man you run out of ammo so fast with these submachine guns i'll probably have hardens you know just to make the kills better quicker and i would have like marathon or something like that so to have a mac 11 with suppressor lightweight slight of hand on a new map, free for all. You don't have any teammates helping you. Just free for all. Getting a, getting a 30 kills to three deaths. And I start off with like a, I start off on like a 17 kill streak. I mean that's just a good gameplay. But I, it's just chilled. You know, it's nice and relaxed and chilled. A bit different from my other comms. Now, as you can see here, I'm disrespecting the COD gods. I'm noob tubing. Uh. You're gonna say like, oh god, this is not a, a Mac 11 gameplay. This is you pick up the you pick up a Famas, you pick up an Org, you noob tube. Yeah, but as long as you get the gun you're using first, which is a Mac 11, and you use it until you run out of ammo, that it counts as a gameplay. If you see like a uh, Dragonov sniper gameplay. They get one kill with the Dragunov and then instantly pick up an AK. That's not a Dragunov gameplay. But if they use every bullet of the Dragunov they have left, if they, you know, use it until the ammo's run out, they get like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kills with it, then they pick up an AK. You know, that still counts. So, um, I ran out, yeah, I basically picked up this for Moss when I ran out of ammo. So, you know, just to keep the gameplay alive, uh, this isn't it for the rest of the game. I die, obviously, three times, and I have to pick, I have to, you know, start again with my Mac 11. But a Mac 11 is a great gun. It's very, very underrated. Um, I would never use dual wield. That's just stupid. Um, if you want to use a dual wield on the submachine gun, slap it on the Scorpion, because, uh, that's just great. I mean, I highly recommend that. Um... I would use it obviously extended mags if you're it just depends how you're playing if you're gonna rush around in ground war slap on extended mags scavenger hardened and marathon you're gonna get a whole bunch of kills if you're playing something more chilled something more relaxed like free for all or search and destroy I would have lightweight sleight of hand marathon for the rushing fast reloading fast aiming of course 
and um suppressor just to stay stealthy basically and uh it takes a while to adjust you may get a bit annoyed because your your first like 10 games may be horrible to your kill death ratio your first like 10 games you may go really bad because it's not the best setup ever but once you get used to it for sure man it's a, it's a great great setup i've been using it a lot i also the submachine gun i recommend uh if you're a higher level is the Kipparis or the Kiparis, however you want to pronounce it. It's the classified submachine gun. That's really good. Obviously, it's basically the same as the Mac 11. It has very low magazine capacity. So if you're gonna play ground war, run around on a ground war, slap on extended mags, scavenger, hardened. But if you're gonna play something more relaxed, like search or free for all, as I tend to do. Then, you know, why not have suppressor? It just keeps you more stealthy. Yeah, it affects the range a lot. But the thing is, the thing, the the reason why the uh, suppressor is good is because it kind of lowers the recoil down. Now, the Mac 11 already has pretty goddamn low recoil. That kind of makes up for the lack of ammo. But on uh, the Kipparis, uh, you know, there's a bit of recoil. And so suppressor kind of helps with that. It reduces the muzzle flash as well. So that's pretty good. Now, as you can tell, I'm in a very relaxed mood. This is just because i am just been getting bored and tired and angry at COD. So, you know, it's just good to have a nice relaxed gameplay. Picking up an AUG here. Uh, yeah, AUG's alright. I don't mind it. R luckily, the dude had put on red dot sight. and Because that, that's the only attachment I really like on the AUG. Uh, kill streak. Oh, commander. Picking up a commando here. Uh, commando is probably the best gun in the game. No, hands down. No doubt about best gun in the game. H pretty high damage, low recoil, high magazine capacity. Very good versatility. Not too light. Not too heavy. So it's kind of a all good all round gun, and it looks goddamn awesome as well. Um, kill streak wise of this game, basically the kill streaks I use are spy plane. Count spy plane blackbird that's very tactical because you give yourself a radar then you jam the enemy's radar then you give yourself another better radar so it's it's kind of a tactical it works better on ground war for your team but if you're playing free for it helps as well i mean all the all the more radar for you i mean why not have lots of radar oh uh, yeah so here's the end of the game cheeky <laughs> cheeky little uh, winning kill i always go for the nice cheeky winning kills 360 tomahawk fail ballistic knife extravaganza bit of humiliation for that dude uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed the gameplay very chilled very relaxed i'm explicit hd i'll see you guys later